Hey everyone, Joe Axman here, the mediocre astrologer. Eh, he's okay. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Oh my gosh. Well, today I want to talk about another touchy subject. Not really another one. This is pretty much the same one, the, the, the Israel-Gaza conflict. Um, and I wish I didn't have to. I really do. <clears throat> um, it's not a pleasant thing, but I don't think it's pleasant for anyone. A lot of people are pretty upset about it on both sides. Um, and, um, you know, I'm just I, I'm inspired to, to, to keep speaking up about it and to saying things and um you know, I just hope people can keep an open mind and, and hear what I have to say and, and not uh, rush to, you know, jump to conclusions or whatnot. And um, because there's a lot that that there's a lot that is shrouded or clouded in obfuscation and um, hype and dishonest lies. And there's all sorts of agendas going on. Um Largely in the West, people think it's a land issue, Israel, Gaza, Palestine. It's not. It's a religious issue. It's a religious issue for the the militant Islamists um, who want a global caliphate. That's what they want. It's not about land back, right? Land back. I mean, which which is really naive uh, and foolish, considering that. The Arabs, which it, this is what it is, it's the it's the Arabs. They're not. There's no like Palestinian ethnicity. That's not a thing. They are Arabs, right? From the Arabian Peninsula. They're not from the Levant. They're from Arabia, Arabian Peninsula, um, and they've migrated throughout the Middle East and Northern Africa, and they are the colonizers, right? Um, some people say, well, no, they're not colonizers. They're conquerors. These are semantics. Um, <laughs> whether they're colonizers or conquerors it doesn't really make much of a difference but um the palestinians are arabic right by and large they are not native ethnically to the levant region that would be the jews jews are right and there are some other subgroups too um so it's not about it's not about land back Plus, you have to remember that Jews were all over the Levant area, including Gaza and the West Bank, and they were kicked off their land, right? So it's like this thing where it's like Arabs have a right to come back to any land that they, they lost, but Jews don't, which is a double standard. Jews were all over the Middle East and North Africa through the diaspora. Um, and it's violent. It's, nobody, no Jew wants to return because, I mean, it's it's they're they're going to get killed. Or, you know, raped and beaten, you know, and they're not going to have a good life, obviously, right? So why would they want to return them there? Um, so this idea of land back is, is it's nonsense, right? You look at a map, the Arabs have a vast, vast, vast swaths of land that they could go to. It's all Arabian. It's all, it's, it's all Arab. It's all the same, right? And if you look at the history, most Palestinians immigrated there from Egypt, from Saudi Arabia, from Jordan, from other Middle Eastern countries, right? They are immigrants. They're not natives. I mean, this is fact. You can go do your due diligence and research. You can't just believe, oh, they're brown skin. They must be native. Like, fuck off. You're dumb. You're just stupid. Like, and you shouldn't be, you know, having them. You just keep your mouth shut and don't, because you haven't bothered to do your research. You know, just because somebody's brown doesn't mean they're native to an area, right? It's, it's ridiculous, right? And plus, there, there's also blonde you know, white skin, blue eyed Palestinians, right? Uh, I mean, I had Tamimi as a famous one, but anyway. So, you know, I mean, that's the fundamentals of it, but I, I, I do I do want to cover some specifics, right? The, the fundamental argument that the Jews stole the land, well, that's not true. I mean, Jews were always living there. We have like concrete evidence, right? Synagogues in Gaza even, right? Synagogues in Gaza, like th think about this. Synagogues in Gaza. So Jews were in Gaza, were kicked out of Gaza to make room for the Palestinians who are not even native at all, like by any stretch of the imagination. They're not natives. They're Arabians. They're Arabs, right? And so Jews had to leave Gaza. Jews had to leave the West Bank, right? Um, 
so like this whole idea of land back is, is ridiculous right and jews were kicked out of every single exiled out of, out of every, all the, the middle eastern north african countries from like you know nearly a million in all all the countries put together to zero almost zero right there's a few left um mostly in iran for some reason i'm not sure why i guess i think it's it's not the iranian regime it's the iranian people a lot of the iranian people are are, are pro jew pro israel right they are they say that they come out of line they're pro because they're they had enough of the tyranny they had enough of the islam they have the, they have this oppressive regime ruling over them they don't want anything to do with it right the iranians are are, are wonderful people and they have this horrible regime that kills them you know, we'll kill you, kill you if you don't wear a hijab. Like, fuck off. Who needs that? You know, this is 2023. Like, just stop, you know, keeping us in the seventh century. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, there are some Iranian Jews and and you know that, but oops, one second. Sorry about that. Um, I want to share my screen to just go over some things. Get some perspective. I want to. I want to put some perspective on this situation. Um, let's see here. Okay, here here's a graphic. Um, so people are like, you know, massively protesting the Israel Gaza war and saying, "Oh my God, you know, twenty thousand babies have been died, you know, killed." Um, first of all, I just have to say, lies. Lies. Go look it up. Um, the figures are coming from Hamas, and Hamas is lying, and they don't differentiate between combatants and civilians. Right? The 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 combatants. We have video evidence of this. Combatants are wearing civilian clothes, so they're lying. Uh, whatever the number is, we don't really know. Like they can't count that quick. Plus, they, there's all these discrepancies in the numbers. They like there's. Um, I'm I'm sorry. I should have captured screen captured that or bookmarked it or whatever. But like the numbers would shift, right? And there's no accounting for it, right? They it's just like as soon as it happens, they're like this many people. Are, how would they know, right? How would they know? They don't know, right? They they can't even make a fucking rocket. You think they're they're able to count all their people? You know, uh, these people are 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 not the 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 most technologically advanced. I, I mean, I'm sorry to say, I wish they were. You know, it would make things more on a level playing field, right? Any case, um, yeah, very few people are dying, um, compared to wars and other people, and so like Syrian civil war over like what three hundred thousand, Saudi Houthi war three hundred and fifty. Over a million in Iraq Iran war. Um, and people will say, well, it's because of US involvement that we're protesting. Well, first of all, um people are protesting everywhere outside of the Amer outside of America. It's not just um uh United States, but even even if that's the case, um let's see here. Um, let's look at the Syrian civil war for a minute. So the Syrian civil war, I'm just going to read a bit of this, ongoing multi-side conflict in Syria involving various state sponsored and non-state actors. Uh, Obama wanted to get involved in this. Terrible. He wanted to overthrow the government, create another puppet state. Um, not that I think Assad is great, but um, I, don't, I think Obama was equally as bad. So it was like two bad things, you know. Um, so Bashar al-Assad triggered large-scale protests, pro-democracy rallies across Syria, um, Arab Spring, Syrian insurgency, crisis had escalated into a full-blown civil war. You know, and America can't just pick winners and losers just because whoever it likes. I mean, that's ridiculous. It can, but it's 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 horrible, right? It's a horrible thing to do. I mean, unless there's like a real need but i don't think any of the the rebels were better than assad I'm, I'm sorry to say these are just horrible people all around right so receiving arms from nato do you see rebel forces um so nato that's america america is the biggest sponsor of nato rebel forces initially made significant advances um, um and then the government forces were receiving arms from iran and russia so russia um 
impede uh, stop the 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 turning Syria into another Libya, and we'll get to Libya. So rebel rebels captured Raqqa, blah blah blah. Um, Russia launched a military in intervention, supported the government, shifting the balance. Um, the Islamic State seems control of eastern Syria and western Iraq. So again, the Muslims. Um, and mind you, Syria is not a Muslim nation. It um, that's one of the key things. And here is where the the Islamists, the expansionist side of Islam, um, the ones that are want to wage war and kill everyone who's not a Muslim and create a global caliphate. That's the Islamic State, ISIS, Hamas, you know all these all these groups, Hezbollah, um, Islamic Jihad. Right. These are all Islamist groups. Um, and it's about that. That's what it's about. It's about the, the the militant side of Islamism. That's why I say it's not about land. It's about I mean, it's not about. Yeah, it's about religion, wanting to control all the land. Right. Uh, that's what they're fueled by. These the Islamic State, they're fueled by this religious kind of fervor. Um, OK. Majority, yeah, while providing ground support for the Kurdish majority Syrian democratic forces. So Kurdish, right? The Kurds are not Muslim, and they're fighting for their for their own survival because the the Islamists want to create a mono culture, an ethno state, right? Which they do in every 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 other area. Um, Turkey launched a multi pronged invasion of northern Syria in response to the creation of Rojava. Um, okay, autonomous region, northeast Syria, self-governing sub-regions. Okay, I don't, I don't know. That's something I'm, I would. All right. So another group, Turkey. Turkey got involved while also fighting the Islamic State and government forces in the process. So it's like multi-pronged war. Um, and. And then, um, let's see. The America got involved too, right? Um, oh, here we go. U.S. U.S. led U.S. led CJTF. So America is involved too, just because. So most of the money that Israel gets is in is in arms and Iron Dome, right? But here, America is um, involved in Syria as well. Combined Joint Task Force Operation Inherent Resolve is a multinational military formation established by the U.S.-led International Co Coalition against the Islamic State with the state aimed to degrade and destroy the organization led by United States Army Central. Okay, so the U.S. is involved too, that, and that was my main point, right? We didn't see anything like this about Syria. And uh, just to go back here... Um, What's that? 350,000, or is it 300,000 maybe? 300,000, right? And people are like, genocide, people are screaming genocide over um, potentially 20,000 with the majority being, or at least an unknown, we don't know how many are militants, right? And how we don't know how many children, are, they also train children, they give children guns. We have plenty of evidence. We see children shooting. I mean, there's we we know this is happening, right? Um, but there are no major protests over this. I mean, if if twenty thousand is genocide in a war, then this is like uh, another word for this is genocide squared, right? Genocide here's genocide squared. Here's genocide squared plus you know some. Here's genocide cubed, right? <laughs> um, if that's what we're if that's you know. It's it's orders of magnitude greater, um, yet hush, crickets, right? It's hypocrisy. It's hypocrisy, and it's dishonesty. And so when everyone comes at me, or just in general, and is like up, is like outraged, it's like I can't believe it's the worst thing ever. Like you're full of shit. You're just dumb. You're just too stupid to take seriously. You're just a fucking idiot, and you should shut the fuck up and go back to bed. Um, cause you're, you've been sleeping through everything else in your life. You haven't paid attention to a single fucking thing in your whole life. And you're just like, Oh, the Jews, the Jews are standing up for themselves. 
well, go fuck yourself. Like, go fuck yourself and then go fuck yourself some more. And then go keep fucking yourself all the way to, you know, fuck off, Phil. Um, because you're not a real person. You're an NPC. Okay. Um, U.S. has been funding, you know, uh, civil war in in Syria, being part of it. Um, yeah. And again, Obama wanted to completely destabilize all of Syria, make it way worse. Now, let's look at some of the destruction in Syria. Okay. Here, here, right here, here, here. And people are like, God, that's the worst humanitarian crisis ever. Fuck off. You're dumb. And you're a liar. And you're ignorant. And you're an asshole. And you shouldn't be speaking because you're, 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 you know, you're stupid. So, um, major destruction in Syria. All right. Let's look at what else. So, Iran. Okay. I just pulled it. Um, so Iran, okay, this is a, to for the UN. Iran to chair UN Human Rights Forum on Thursday, sparking protests. So Iran um, recently, literally, um, yeah, murdered murdered young girl for not wearing a hijab. So they're chairing the UN Human Rights. So you want to tell me that the UN is a legitimate organization? I don't think so. UN is corrupt as can be. UN is 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 bad, and we're gonna get to why that is. Um, let me just get a bookmarks here. Um, I actually want you to listen to this. Okay. So this is a Gaza resident with an IDF soldier. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read the subtitles. I understand the situation is is terrible. Because the humanitarian people, these those are oh, hold on. Because the humanitarian people, those responsible for the humanitarian aid, are thieves. Why are they thieves? Are Hamas operatives uh, talking to taking the food from the humanitarian services? Of course, of course. Wherever Hamas goes, total destruction follows. But this is for humanitarian purposes. The idea. They must give food to civilians. IDF says. What is Hamas connection to it? What is Hamas, my brother? Hamas is involved in everything. It's best you know. Hamas has their hands on UNRWA administration workers and it manages, and it manages UNRWA. There are those in charge in the agency, UNRWA, and those in charge everywhere else. For the day they rose to power, they took control of everything. As in, they do not provide food to civilians. Idea. They provide for the pe their people first. Do you speak with the agency, UNRWA, and tell them these things? You mean those in charge of the agency? Who? could Who could speak with? I'm telling you. Hold on. Who could you? I'm telling you. Right now, it's... Uh, sorry. Right now, it's unknown. No one knows about it. And those in charge of the agency cooperate with Hamas? The administration workers in the agency are Hamas. UNRWA is Hamas, and those in charge of the agency cooperate with Hamas? Unfortunately, yes. Those who control, that is, those in charge of the department of the regional headquarters of the agency are Hamas operatives themselves. He's saying UNRWA is Hamas, and at least they're either Hamas or in co tight cooperation with Hamas. UNRWA. UN, UN, the UN um, Gaza division. Right? The, um, and here are just a few bookmark things, but I, I'm going to get to something. So here we're just uh, incident. IDF troops uncovered child size suicide vests in Gaza home raid. They use children. They weaponize children. They do. 
Um, here, these lovely Muslims are ripping the clothes off a woman. Islam will dominate the world. This is the, the Islamist, um, you know, the the dream of global um, caliphate. Um, oh, here is right after October seventh. This is how they sh this is how they show compassion for the massacre of the Jews, right? Some of them, anyway. Um, but this is what I wanted to um, also point to. Um, it's a little it's a similar graphic to the other one. So Iran Iraq Iraq war, Darfur genocide. Um, that's in Sudan, Syrian civil war, Iraq. Um, more Iraq uh, conflicts in Yemen, um, and then is Arab Israel conflict genocide. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Um, so in Libya, they have an active slave trade. I want you to understand that. And this is all just to gain some perspective. So like people are freaking out. Uh, and I know it's like kind of funny. It's like, hey, guess what? There's not only lots of bad stuff happening in Israel, Gaza, there's bad stuff happening everywhere. That's uh, that's kind of the message. But um, it's to give some perspective. This was happening all along. Everyone was like through everything, every goddamn fucking thing, everyone looks crickets, and then all of a sudden the Jews get involved, and it's like, oh my god! Pull our hair out! Let's gas the Jews! Let's, you know, stop the world! The Jews are not dying like we want them to. Alright, uh, video of men appearing to be sold at, at Libya, auction in Libya for $400, they shocked the world, blah, blah, blah the footage. Alright, so, um, so as it turns out, um, migrants from Africa, uh, uh, a lot of them find themselves in Libya as they're trying to, you know, make their way to, uh, I, I'm guessing, Europe. Um, and I, I don't know why they go to Libya if they know they're going to be held as slaves, but they do. I guess hard hard not to. Libya is the main transit point for refugees and migrants trying to reach Europe by sea. In each of the last three years, 150,000 people have made the dangerous crossing. Um, four years in a row, 3,000 re refugees have died uh, while attempting the journey. Um, I think Qatar also uses slaves. I'm not. I'm not sure, or at least low paid, low paid slave wages. Anyway, um, 400,000 to almost one million. People now bottled up in Libya, Africans, detention centers are overrun, and there are mounting reports of robbery, rape, murder among migrants, according to September report by the UN. Conditions have been described as horrific. Among other abuses, migrants are vulnerable to being sold off as laborers in slave auctions. It's a total extortion machine fueled by the absolute rush of migrants through Libya, thinking they can get out of poverty following a dream that doesn't exist. Um, slave markets. North Africa, tormenting hundreds of young African men bound for Libya. Slaves! I thought we were done. I thought, like, the, the last slave thing was, like, in America was, like, okay, first of all, the narrative is, like, slaves were only ever in America. America invented slavery, and that was the worst thing ever, right? And the Black people are still suffering from slavery in America. That was the only slavery ever. All that's bullshit, right? Slave Slavery um, was everywhere by everyone. Everyone had slaves, first of all. And slavery is still happening right now right where's the outrage like people are outraged about slavery like hundreds of years ago in america nobody gives a shit about slaves right now right nobody nobody gives a flying fuck about the slaves happening right now but where are all the protests where are the goddamn protests right no crickets shh, shh. don't you fucking lecture me about israel gaza all you goddamn hypocrites can shut the fuck up. Um, and so this all happened with wonderful Obama and Hillary Clinton. I'm with her, right? They fucking ruined Libya. This all happened after they murdered Gaddafi. They fucking murdered him. Hillary Clinton, we came, we saw, he died. <laughs> right? That's her famous quote about that. She fucking killed him. He, her and Obama. CIA staged a coup, got him murdered. And he was, he was, you know, 
I'm not saying he was a great man or anything like that, but at least he was keeping the nation together. And this tense amount, that's horrible. You can't just go in and ruin a fucking nation, right? And that's what Obama wanted to do with Syria, right? At least they have a government. At least they have a president, right? Um, so spare me. You're crocodile fucking tears. Crocodile fucking tears. Calling you out. Sons of bitches. Fuck off. Right? Famine in Yemen. Fuckers. Well, fuck yourself. Why am I angry? Because people act like this is the only thing that ever happened. Israel standing up for themselves after the most, the, you know, the biggest massacre after uh, since the Holocaust, right? You're calling genocide. Go fuck yourself. Like, I'm not pulling, not pulling any punches here. Famine in Yemen. Food insecurity crisis, crisis insecurity, ongoing Yemen, 130,000 deaths from lack of food, health services, infrastructure. 85,000 children have died due to starvation three years prior. Where are the, where are the outrage? Where are the protests? Where are the marches? Right? I mean, I don't know who the cause is or what, you know, like what the real, I don't know if America was involved or not involved in this. I don't know who was. I mean, I know the Saudis were fighting against the Houthis. Um, blockade of Yemen by Saudi Arabia. Where's the protests? Blockade, another protest, another, another blockade, right? By the way, Egypt also blockades Gaza. Nobody cares about that. Okay. Is anyone is anyone protesting the Saudis for blockading Yemen? Anyone? No. Can't say anything about brown people. Right? And Jews aren't brown, even though 60% are Jews are brown, by the way. 60% in Israel. 60 fucking percent are non-European. Right? But Jews are still white people. Right? But go fuck yourself again. Um, you don't give a shit about that. I'll, I'll call you out all day long. You're a hypocrite. You're a liar. Uh, anyone who's coming at me, you know, saying stupid shit about, oh my God, oh, Israel doing horrible things. Go fuck yourself. You're retarded. You're dumb. You're too stupid to, to speak. And you shouldn't be speaking. Pakistan, why widespread abuses force Afghans to leave? Right? Talking about ethnic cleansing. Pakistani authorities have committed widespread abuses against Afghans living in Pakistan to compel the return to Afghanistan, Human Rights Watch said today. 375,000 Afghans to Afghanistan. Pakistani authorities have forced out ethnic cleansing. 375,000. 375,000 Afghans. Okay? Nothing. Crickets. Silence. Go fuck yourself. Once again, you're watching this and you're like, Israel's evil, Zionist evil. Go fuck yourself. And let me punch you in the face, proverbially. Okay. I'm not going to do it for real, but just like, you know, you can imagine my me punching you in the face. Oh, there's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. Sudan's cycle of violence. There is a genocide going on in West Darfur. This is a real genocide, not a fake genocide. What's happening in Gaza is not a fucking genocide. It's not a genocide. It's war, you assholes. It's called war. UN Independent Research highlights the brutality of the conflict that has left 9,000 people dead and 5.6 million displaced in the past seven months. Okay, but this has been going on for a long time. Um, and this also... Is Muslims attacking Christians? Believe it or not, this is, Muslim, this is Islamism, Muslim expansion, Islamist expansion. They're trying to take over Sudan. You look at a map, you make sense. You see where the Arabs have conquered. You see where they haven't conquered, or where they're trying to conquer. Sudan is one of those areas that's right in between. It's partially conquered by the Arabs, and partially not. And so this is what this is about. They're killing the non-Arabs. They're killing the Christians. That's what this is about. Rounding up, killing people, 
from the Masalite ethnic group. See, the, here's why this is genocide. They're targeting an ethnicity. In, in Israel, they're not targeting an ethnicity. It's war. They Hamas massacred a bunch of Jews and they kept captives. In order for the war to end, Hamas needs to surrender and give up all their hostages, right? It's not both sides. Israel's holding criminals who come, who 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 like blow shit up and, and you know try and kill people, right? Hamas captured innocent civilians. It's people draw these parallels that are just like, are you fucking like, like have an IQ of like two or like you're that dumb, like or you're just dishonest. You're arrogant. You're 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 arrogant son of a bitch, and you're just lying through your teeth, right? Um, 5.6 million. So ethnic cleanse, 5.6. So way more than 9,000 because it's been going on for a long time. Right. Um, and just incidentally, you know, we were taught to hate Jews. I hear this like all the time. Like they're all, all in all the Arab countries, not all of them, but a lot of them, they're taught to hate Jews. Right. But not just Jews. They don't like anyone. They don't like anyone who's not Muslim. And I'm not talking about all of them. But, you know, obviously places like Dubai have overcome their, their Islamist problem. Uh, but a lot of these places are overrun by this Islamism, this idea of Islamic um, superiority. Right? Uh, where where uh, only, you know, the, the, the Islam of their, their choosing, which like the Sunnis and Shiites fight, you know, but, uh, you know, they're going to, they're going to either subjugate everyone to be like second class citizens, second class citizens, or they're going to kill them or force convert them. That's the way it works. Um, one woman recalls her aunt claiming Jews put cancer in their vegetables at the market. Right. Okay. Right. She gets cancer and she blames the Jews. Good. Right. Even though there are no Jews, uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, they're, they're taught to hate Jews. They're taught to hate everyone. Right. Um, we see, we see that in Sudan here, by the way, here's a list of, you know, this lie that, um, Jews and Jews and Muslims live peacefully before Israel. No, that's a hundred percent false. I'm just going to go through the list real quick. Um, here, ethnic cleansing of Jews from Mecca. Um, uh, forced conversions, not only that, forced conversions. Why are there so few Jews? Well, I mean, number one, Jews don't seek to convert anyone. Number two, um, murder and uh, forced conversions, right? Um, executed if the Jewish boys were publicly expected for pew care and executed if they had. I'm not going to go through each one of these, but you can just see, like, throughout the Middle East, it was not peace for the Jews, not at all. So anyone who says, Oh, Jews and, and Muslims lived peacefully before Israel. They're fucking lying. They're just straight up lying, uh, which a lot of these things about, you know, Israel and Jews, are, um, their lies. But you can see massacre, 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 force, you know, forced conversion, massacre. Um, right. Submission of Jews and Christians. Um Beheading of Jews, assassination. So it's all like just, you know, all over the Middle East persecution, murder, capture, torture, forced conversion, exodus. Um, not easy, not, not, not good stuff, but it, it goes on, 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 it goes on. You say peace between Jews and Muslims, go fuck yourself. You're you're fucking stupid asshole, lying piece of shit. It goes on, 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 it goes on. They're lying. They're just lying. They're just straight up lying. Right. Um and you know the fundamental lie is that it's not Jewish land, it's Muslim land. In Israel. Well, that's a lie. That's a lie. Jews were living there. Jews have lived there. Jews came from there. 
Jews were living there all along. There were Jews that never left all, the whole of Israel. And Jews built it up even before 1948, right? There are many cities in Israel that were built by Jews before 1948. Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, right? I don't know a whole list, but I know that at least those two, probably more. Um, and there are many photos. Uh, there's the documented evidence. And there's documented evidence going all the way back. None for the Muslims or the Islamists. You know, people are like, Jesus was a Palestinian. Jesus was not a Palestinian. First of all, Palestine was a, 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 a name given to the whole area by the Romans after Jesus died, 100 years, right? Syria, Palestina. How could Jesus be Palestinian? That's a fucking lie, right? It wasn't called that. Like, you can't just describe, like, the name a la name of land went through many changes, many ownerships, and you can't just pick and choose, cherry pick the name that you like, that would, uh, you know, retro retrogressively apply it to, to you know, prehistory, you know, re re revise history, retrogressively apply the, the name of a whole territory uh, by the Romans to something that was, you know, not called that at that time. Jews were from Judea. Jesus was a practicing Jew. He was a rabbi. He was a Jewish rabbi. Right, Jesus was not a Palestinian. Palestinian was not a thing. You can't. You just. It doesn't make sense, right? They just lie and they lie and they lie. Why? Why are they lying so much? Against the fucking Jews. That's why they hate the Jews. It's all anti-Semitism, Jew hatred. So, um, I think I think I went through everything. Let's see, Pakistan. Right. Pakistan, Yemen famine, Libyan slave trade, Syrian destruction, Iran, the UN. So people are like, the UN, blah, 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 says, blah, blah, blah. UN is completely, completely corrupt. UNRWA is Hamas, or at least in, you know, inseparable from Hamas. Hamas takes all the food from the Palestinians in Gaza and keeps it for themselves. Uh, we know they build tunnels so they can survive the bombs, whereas the civilians pay the price, right? And they sh order the civilians to stay in buildings after Israel has warned them to leave. That's another reason why the civilian um, casualties so high. And, you know, a lot of these people have, they're, they're dishonest. They have no concern for, I'm going to stop sharing, for um, Israelis because, you know, if there was a ceasefire, that Hamas would live to commit another massacre, and they're perfectly okay with that. And that's the that's the disgusting thing is that they want they want Israel to um, be passive and lay down and die and surrender to Hamas when they don't have to, right? They, if you attack a country who's more powerful, you that then you guess what? You're going to get your ass kicked, and that's exactly what happened. This is war. It's no different than any other war. Right. You know, every single war has casualties. Right. And you go to World War Two and in and, and, and Germany and the British bombed the crap out of, you know, Dresden or whatever. There were civilian casualties, a lot of them. But that, unfortunately, is the way it goes. And there's no other way around that. You know, to, to not do that would have meant that Hitler and the Nazis would have taken control of Europe. Right. Um, for Israel not to do what they're doing means that Hamas is going to take control, keep control of Gaza, and keep, um, uh, keep keep their hostages and keep sacrifice, keep you know attacking Israel. Israel has no obligation to put up with that. Like that's ridiculous, right? Um, so, you know, uh, there's some horrible, horrible bullshit going on. Oh, genocide! Go fuck yourself. Like anyone who says it's a genocide, um, seriously, from me to you, go fuck yourself. I don't know, like, what else am I going to say? Like, like you're lying asshole and you're a fucking idiot. And that's it. Like, you're dumb. You're stupid. And, and you don't know what you're fucking talking about. And you're stupid. Right. And you're dumb. And you, you obviously want Hamas to keep, you know, rape, mass raping, gang raping and murdering Israeli civilians. And to anyone who says it didn't happen, go fuck yourself too. And let me punch you in the face. Like, let me punch you in the face twice. Or three times. Um, because you deserve it. So 
I don't know what else to say about it. Like, um, you know, it's horrifying. It's horrible. Um, these we have GoPro evidence, and people are still denying it. Hamas GoPro themselves killing, raping, you know, torturing the worst, horrible. I can't even like. I don't even want to talk about it. It's so bad. Like they did stuff that's like so awful. They 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 killed a family member then recorded it on the person's the family member's phone and sent it out to all their contacts just stuff, stuff like that you know like, uh, they put babies in the oven and these things did happen like we have evidence and they say oh that didn't happen no it did happen you know the, the you know like the whole thing like um what's his name uh daily wire ben ben shapiro um, was accused of putting out a, a fake, you know, burnt baby um, photo. It was actually a real photo and they lied about it being fake. The fake one, the, the one that claimed to be real was fake. It was the other way around. It was real. Like that, it really happened. Like, I mean, they can do anything these days. They can make it seem fake and they can lie about it being fake when it's real. But these things really did happen. And we have, Plenty of of um, video testimonials by captured Hamas members admitting to all of this. They admitted to it. It's not a lie that they just made it up. So, I mean, I wish I didn't have to, you know, um, alienate people, you know, piss people off. But... I mean, it's, it's not good, right? It's not good what's going on. People are becoming extremely anti-Semitic, blaming Jews, blaming Israel, um, really singling out Israel as like this horrible monster when it's not. It's it, Israel just wants to live and survive and it has every right to. It's not on stolen land. That's a lie. It's a fabrication. This is completely not true. Yes, there are immigrants into Israel, but they're immigrants into Palestine, right? A lot of the Palestinians are you know they're not native and they immigrated in recent in the last century the same as you know there was a whole lot of immigration let's put it that way from both sides into that area but the arabs weren't interested in that area until the jews started building it up jews started building it up and then the arabs were like oh we want a piece of that right al-aqsa is not al-aqsa al-aqsa is in saudi arabia al-aqsa means the farthest um, the farthest mosque uh, that um, you know Muhammad conquered. I think that's that's what it means, or or that visited. Right? He didn't even visit Jerusalem. He didn't even visit Israel. It's not even part of his. He wasn't even aware of it. Right? It, it had nothing to do with him. It was Al Aqsa was built way after Muhammad died. Why? Because they want to conquer jewish they built it right on top of the jewish temple right they wanted to they wanted to conquer judaism they wanted to conquer you know the jews homeland they have no real rights to jerusalem they have no real claim to it it's, it's simple like muhammad has nothing to do with jerusalem it's just a it's just an islamist domination thing same thing they're doing in sudan same thing they're doing in syria same thing they're trying to do in all of europe they're trying to conquer it it's islamism they're trying to Islam wants to dominate the world, right? And it, it's not a fabrication. Let me share my screen one more time and I'll, I'll show you. I mean, we have plenty of, um, you know, like imams and whatnot talking about that. Where is it? Islam will dominate the world, right? I mean, it's it's not just that one photo. I mean, we have plenty of evidence that they that that's that's their goal, you know. Obviously, and again, like I'm not against anyone. Like I have, I have. Er Listen, I had, I had an Arabic girlfriend for a while. I mean, tentatively. I mean, I was hitting on her. We were flirting. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but anyway. I'm not against I'm not against Sarah. I'm against ideologies. I'm against people wanting to, you know, make Sharia law everywhere. So that's not fun. That's not good. Right. Um, 
any case, guys, I just, you know, stop. Whatever, whatever the crowd's doing, they're wrong. Like whatever the masses are doing, they're wrong. Because these are like the idiots. These are the idiots of the world. Will always like, and you you know they're the idiots because you you question them. And there's plenty of we have video, we've seen plenty of videos of this. They don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. You ask them what river, what sea are you even? They're like from the mountain to the sea. It's like from the mountain to the sea? oh, from the nation to this. What do you what do you from what? Okay, you don't even know what the saying is. There's one. And then, like, you ask somebody, what river? They don't know what river. It's the Jordan River. What's the, it's it's the the Mediterranean Sea, right? Um, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And they're like, oh, it, it doesn't mean get rid of Israel. It's, who they don't know what, the, it, yeah, it does. It's about, it's about genocide and ethnic cleansing, right? Um, if Hamas is having their way, it would be complete genocide after mass horror and horrific torture, right? Mass gang rapes and, you know, mutilation, burning people, the most horrific torture you could possibly imagine, and then death, right? Um, yeah, so that is what they want, literally, right? All the barrage of rockets that they constantly fire, it's not targeted, right? And why does Israel get the blame when they've been progressing all these years, building up their technology, their science, their business, their economy, their development, everything, while Hamas... Um, steals all the money, builds rockets and tunnels, and, um, you know, leaves the people impoverished. By the way, they get tons of aid, and they're, they're not all impoverished. They have, like, way more hospitals than anyone else in the, the Middle Eastern nations, and they get way more aid, um, right? And so they, they're living up, they're living in the lap of luxury, some of them, right? A lot of, these Hamas leaders are billionaires, so I mean, the level of hypocrisy is 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 insane. Um, the corruption, the hypocrisy, the lies, the double standards, right? So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go for it. And I know there's some weak Jews out there who just want to cave so that Karen from office likes them, or you know, Chad or Bobby or you know Jimmy. Who who gives a fuck? Like these are these are shithead people. These are horrible people who would rather see their own people die just so they can fit in with the fuck, other fucking ignorant assholes, right? People chanting, oh, free Gaza, free Gaza, free Palestine. What does free Palestine mean? Palestine's already free. What does it mean? It means it, end, of, end of Israel, right? Israel's not going anywhere. They're not. They're not. So you're asking for more war. They're, so they're speaking out both sides of their tongue. Like They're like, um... We want more war because we're calling for free, you know, from the river to the sea, eradicate Israel, which is war. At the same time, they're saying we don't want war or ceasefire. So the, the stupid people, right? Stupid, stupid fucking idiots. They're they're calling for war at the same time calling for no war. Like you can't, it doesn't work that way. These are children. These are fucking children, right? They all deserve to get their butts spanked. Fuck off. You stupid motherfuckers. So. <laughs> well, that's that's what I got to say. So anyway, mediocre astrologer signing off. Yeah, he's okay. Um anyway, guys. So You know, I don't live in perpetual anger. But when I, you know, I have to talk about these things and I do get passionate and, you know, angry and vocal and expressive and all that. But, you know, still, I believe we all got to laugh. We all got to keep positive and, 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 you know, have faith that everything's going to work out. So laugh it off, take a victory laugh and, um, you know, don't leave a nasty comment because I'm just going to delete it and I'll probably make another video out of it uh, with even more evidence that you're a stupid fucking asshole who never gave a shit about anything ever in your fucking life. And all of a sudden you you care because because all these you know people are protesting. And you're like, oh, genocide. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, that's right. Leave a fucking comment. I'm being sarcastic. Don't leave a nasty comment because this is what you're going to get. You're going to get more of this. Go fuck yourself. All right. Anyway. <laughs>
sunshine, rainbows, bluebird of happiness. All right. All right. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.